tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll uh, we'll under we'll write a SQL query to find average salary department wise in uh, Oracle. So whatever query I'm going to write over here that should work for other database as well because I'm going to write a generic query. Yeah. So the first of all, uh, we'll calculate a uh, average salary department wise, right? so basically here we are trying to perform some kind of aggregate function right so we want to get the average salary average salary means uh, let's say we have a department or uh, let's say department uh, 20 right so average salary means we have to get the sum of the salary of the each department and that sum we have to divide by the number of employees uh, available in that department that's the average salary right so here uh, to get average salary uh, get to get the average salary of each department i'm going to write a SQL query and there uh, we will use avg avg function that's average function along with the group by yeah so i would write select and let's say as of now just i'm putting a star a star i will replace with the uh, uh, the appropriate column and aggregate function letter point of time so from EMP yeah right? so we have to get the basically our uh, department ID and corresponding average salary right uh, in that department so both the columns are available in employee table only right here you can see the salary column and this is the department yeah so here I am going to basically select department number and then I will use avg function and there I will pass the column name that is nothing but the salary right and here we have to group we have to apply the group by function right so group y because all the employees belongs to the uh, particular department we have to group right so and that's a group by department number right and that's it almost we have done so if i format this query and if i run it then here you can see a uh, department uh, we have uh, this is department id and corresponding average salary here you can specify the column alias right doesn't look like good right whatever aggregate function we have written column name is same as that so here you can to, to uh, average salary you can write average salary something like this right and if i run then you'll see now column name has been modified now this is the very simple now let's say interviewer uh, make some tweak in this question Let's say interview asking, hey, I, I would like to get the department number as well as department name uh, along with average salary. Then how we, we will write the query. So here you can see department name is not available in the employee table. Employee table only holds the department number, but department name is available in department table. Right. So you need to make some change in this query. You have to perform basically join. Right. So I write select let's say star from emp e and here i would like to fetch the department name as well right from department table so i write right join over here right so right join d e p t let's say alias is d and here you have to write the joining condition so e dot i write department number equals to d dot department number yeah and now i'm going to select few things over here instead of star so here i'm going to select uh, let's say d dot department number and d dot d name right that is nothing but department name and then i will get the average salary a v g function i'm calling on e dot sal right so salary is so so even though if you say cell, this is going to work because cell column is only available in one of the table. If if uh, if column, uh, let's say department is available in both the columns. So you need to refer by the 
basically table alias but here if you use table alias or doesn't use doesn't matter because salary is only available in the employee not in the department yeah now here of course you need to apply the group by clause right so i would write group by at this time we have to group uh, the information based on these two columns because we are selecting not only department id but uh, department name as well right now let me format this query by pressing ctrl f7 so here is the formatted query and now if i run then here you can see we have a department uh, department number and corresponding average salary there is no department in department number 40 in operations department that's why this is coming as now yeah so now let's say there is a little more <laughs> change in this query let's say it, uh, here you can see uh, uh, I mean average salary is not displaying in the correct order when I, when I say correct order means it is not either in the ascending or descending order let's say I would like to sort this column then how we can do that? So you can do by using order wise class. So just I'm going to copy this query. And if you want to sort any column or any result, right, basically, then you, you may use order by clause. So here I'm going to write order. Order by clause is most probably the last statement in every query. So order by and you can do this result, right? Now if I run this query, then here you can see now uh now a result has been sorted right so that's all i wanted to uh, discuss in, in this video tutorial guys i hope you enjoy learning this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial